Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only co-worker he would ever truly need. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift, yeah, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. His stupid hunk of metal. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier more capable of transporting liquid, like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Oh my God, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. 
What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes, the bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No, no, surely not. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yeah, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. No, stop. Look there on the wall, you see? There's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one, is this a bucket? Incorrect, it is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item two, is this a bucket? Incorrect, it is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item three, is this a bucket? Correct, this is a bucket. Item four, is this a bucket? Correct, this is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. This is a bucket.
Item 6. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry but I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket? Oh my God, I had no idea. How could... except me? I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right. Here we go.